Hey, what's up guys? Uh, so now right now I'm going to be doing my second Bible reflection. Uh, recently I just finished reading the book of Proverbs. It was actually uh, about f uh, four, four days ago or something. So since then I haven't really looked at it much. So right now I'm pretty much going off the top of my head and uh, testing whether or not I really learned something. So I'm not really prepared for this vlog, but here it goes anyways. Um, so what I want to talk about was three main things that I learned from the book of Proverbs. Proverbs is a very, it's a really interesting and fun book to read and it has so much good uh, material in it. Um, so what I'm going to share is just like a tiny, tiny portion of, of what the Proverbs has to offer. So I would encourage you guys to go read it for yourselves. It's awesome. You learn so much. And so for me personally, uh, the three points that I've learned or the three points that I'm going to talk about is number one is uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Number two is, uh, what was it? <laughs> uh, what was it number two? It was, um, uh, number two, number two, number two. Fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Number two was, oh yeah, that wise people seek counsel from others. And then number three was, uh, uh, life and death are in the power of the tongue. Okay, so number one, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So when I read that part, um, I was kind of asking myself what that meant, and I kind of prayed about it and stuff. But then when I, as I read further into the scripture, I realized that there was a correlation between uh, people who are wise and people who are fools. And the correlation that I noticed was that the wise people are, are mentioned as the righteous people, and then the fools will be mentioned with the the wicked people. So the 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 wisdom that the proverbs talks about is the wisdom that uh, that has to do with righteousness. And I believe that that is the god a godly wisdom because there is a wisdom of this world that even James talks about. There's a wisdom that is that is sensual, that is worldly, that is devilish. So the proverbs is talking about a wisdom that is of God and that is true wisdom. And so for for that part, basically what I learned is that as you fear the Lord, you're going to want to be righteous. So in that sense, as you become righteous, then then that's when you could, you're could you open to uh, 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 receiving wisdom. Because without righteousness, you cannot have wisdom. So that that is one thing that, that really struck me. Uh, secondly, was the, the wise people seek wise counsel. It says, and it says also that a fool despises instruction and that really hit me because uh, as some of you may know I, I'm kind of like really stubborn like especially when it comes to doctrine when it comes to what, my opinions or stuff like that and so often I will uh, talk express my opinions without even listening to other perspectives or other people's opinions and then I read a scripture that said a fool ex expresses his opinions and does not heed instruction at all and I was like, oh, snap, that's like me right there, you know? So that really taught me to like really be open to what other people have to say, like like wisdom that other people have, you know? Like I'll give you guys an example. Like number one, uh, some people, they call me, they say I'm cocky in certain areas, which I, I usually respond by saying I'm not cocky. It's just like I'm joking. I say cocky things as a joke, you know? But like as more and more people are telling me and they're saying you know even though you're joking there's some truth to it so if everyone's like if, if people around me are saying that then there must be some truth to it and so that's when I I learned you know that if I want to be wise I have to really take into account whether other people are saying you know and so that's that's uh, something that I learned uh, from Proverbs that really convicted me and the third part is uh, life and death are in the power of the tongue so uh, numerous times it talks about fools they they speak things they say things without thinking about it and they just speak folly they speak vain words like useless words and often that that really convicted me too because often I'll do the same thing you know like I'll just say things like I don't know just to just to say something just to seek attention or like just to uh, try to get a reaction from the crowd and and often it's something like really useless or really like foolish and like one scripture that I recall that it says uh, a fool could look wise if he just kept his mouth shut <laughs> and a wise person is one who who is quiet and thinks before he speaks and so that's something that really hit me too and uh, so those are the three, three main things 
And uh, it also says in the Bible, in the in Proverbs, that wisdom is more precious than silver and gold. So like you could give like a million dollars to someone that won't even be worth uh, what Proverbs has to offer. So I encourage you guys to read it and uh, you'll learn so much. Thanks guys, take care.